Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's me, Ricky Cadden, back again for a new real life stock review with Real Life Trading Australia. It's a brand new week, guys. It's Tuesday, and let's take a look at the markets. So the SPY, not a whole lot happening at the moment. We did get a very nice little gap and go action yesterday uh, on, on Monday, and then Today, we got a very nice little cute little gap up into the highs right here and then obviously just faded a little bit lower. It was very choppy at the start of the day. As you can see in the five minute, we really just chopped sideways for quite some time. And as soon as this level uh, got broke, we had a quick little retest, breakdown and another retest and another lower. So here's your, your Elliott wave, five, five wave move. And right now, uh, I do expect us probably to gap down, being an almost a perfect shaved bottom candle. Uh, the low of the day was 298.91, and the closing price was 298.99. So if we do get a gap down, guys, let's take a look at the short-term moving averages. We do have the 10 EMA right here. If we do get a gap down, I'd probably expect a quick little test of the 10 EMA and then a fade, uh, a fade higher because a lot of the people who were in short would obviously be looking to uh, close out their close out their positions and uh, lock in some profits on that one. However, if we do break the lows of this particular candle here, uh, I do obviously see us going down a little bit lower, probably down to at least the 50 and maybe even closing down uh, this gap that we had uh, last week here or the week before. So SPY, we do have a bearish engulfing candle here today. Um, not a whole lot really happening, but I wouldn't be surprised if we just gap down and then trade back up and create a new all-time high um, straight off the 10 EMA. So keep your eyes peeled on that one. Take a look at the E-minis and the afternoon session. Uh, just now is coming down to the 10 EMA. We've bounced off here before. Are we going to close below here? Who knows? I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that one. If we do start to bounce in the afternoon, take a look at the five minute here. Uh, doesn't look overly bullish. We're going to need some more. Uh, we're going to need some more volume coming in. But as soon as we start to break above this 50, um, I'd probably just look to buy a dip off the 50 EMA and most likely trade it back higher. Let's take a look at the Qs, QQQ. Uh, very, very nice uh, little breakdown that we had here. Um, I was trying to take this short a few times last night. Did get chopped around quite a bit. Ended up losing uh, one R on this. However, um, there was a very nice, there was a few very nice plays. If you just take a look here on the five minute, we did get this nice little consolidation phase uh, right here. And you very well could have taken the break, uh, sorry, the retest with a stop up here. I personally didn't take that trade. I didn't see that until uh, after the close of the day. Um, but realistically, it would have worked out very, very well. Uh, we never really closed above the VWAP, as you can see here. And we kind of just chopped around, broke down, and then followed the market with the SPY and just slowly, slowly traded lower. So for those of you who did get to catch the short on the queues, well done to you. Uh, you did one better than me. Very well done. Um, let's take a look at the IWM. And on the intraday, um, Intraday is not looking as as bearish as the rest of the market. Take a look at the uh, the daily candles. As you can see, we did get some uh, we did get some nice long upper upper shadows the last two days, and we did get a gap and go action, and that was obviously the move here that we had yesterday. And right now we are just kind of consolidating. Uh, if we do come down and close this gap, same with the rest of the market, guys, I do expect us probably to trade higher. And if you take a look at the long-term moving averages, we are above. So if we do come down and bounce off the 200, I do expect us to go higher. Let's take a look at BIIB Biogen. I actually did play this bearish and I actually played it like a complete noob. Um, I just moved my stop a little bit too early. 
Uh, I'll show you how I played this, guys, on the five minute. Um, here's, oh, sorry, on the one minute. So right at the start of the day, I was actually watching e the E-minis at the start of the day. So I did, I was planning on going short and I would have taken this thing short up here and probably held for most of the day. However, I didn't notice um, Biogen until this little flag pattern happened right here. So as soon as this happened, we had a nice little uh, retest of the 10 and I had my entry here with a stop uh, up here. Sorry, a stop at 308 just above 308. And then as soon as we started breaking down, um, as soon as we started breaking down, just over one R profit, um, and this particular bearish candle came in, you can see here, we've got some beautiful volume coming in and I did expect this to continue. So I moved my stop from here to here. Um, and probably a very, very silly move on my part, um, me just trying to lock in some gains. However, if I didn't move that stop, I would have capitalized on this complete, uh, this complete move all the way down here. It would have been a very nice um, seven or eight hour trade. So it would have been very, very nice. However, I did get trailed out um, just here for a very, very small gain. So BIIB was a beautiful fade. As you can see on the daily chart, I'll just zoom in to here. So realistically, we've just been trading sideways for about six months. Um, so everyone that bought here would have just been very happy to take profits up here. We did gap up a total of, uh, we did gap up about 40%. Uh, so if you were up 40% um, overnight, I'm sure you would probably look to take your profits as well. So it was a retest gap. It was a green candle gapping up. So that's my whole uh, reason why I did look to take this thing short as well. Um, and we are just going to slowly retest and probably end up filling the gap as well. Let's take a look at Apple. Apple just continuing higher. Not a whole great deal happening, just creating new all-time highs. The trend is your friend. And we have got uh, earnings coming up right around the corner, guys. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how earnings goes on Apple. If we do get a gap up higher, I'd probably look to fade it lower. Um, similar to what happened in their last earnings back here, we did get a nice little gap up and then we just crushed lower. Um, however, if we do get a gap down, I do expect that to be a fade opportunity. So either gap, gap in either direction, I'd probably look to fade the gap on Apple. So Apple, staying fairly bullish at the moment and not looking for any plays at the moment before earnings. Got a couple of requests uh, from Shannon uh, for BSX. Now BSX, mate, I'll just have a look here on the long-term moving averages. You can see we have, uh, we've closed below the 200 and now we've closed below the 200 a couple of times before. I get that. Uh, we did get some nice buying volume coming in straight after the close and uh, this was obviously just before their earnings just before their earnings and once again here we're at the same level here we're right at just before earnings and we are looking to probably bounce now um, personally I wouldn't play this before earnings um, if you just take a look at the weekly chart, we are still at a level where we could potentially go down a little bit lower. Um, I personally would like to get this off the 100 simple moving average. So if you are looking to buy the dip, uh, probably around 35.10 would be a very nice buying location. Um, as we have, you can see we have bounced off the 100 before and just the last few times we haven't quite got there. So I do expect a little bit of a pullback if we do close below the 100, you probably could even potentially get it at about 32 based off these long lower shadows and all this volume that happened down here. So keep your eyes peeled on a dip buying opportunity on BSX. Uh, I probably wouldn't look to go long just yet, mate. And you did uh, request XS, Exact Sciences as well. Same deal on this one, mate. Um, I would probably look to buy off the 100 on the weekly chart. Uh, has been a while since we've been here and we have had a very substantial move, you know, 800% in the last two years. And 
Um, and just in the last year, just in the last, sorry, in the last 10 months alone, we've gone up 130%. So um, I do expect us to, this pullback here was very well much expected. So I do expect us to go lower, especially after we are currently getting a Marabozu bearish engulfing candle um, right now on the weekly chart. So I know the week's still early and we could potentially bounce. And I do understand that we have earnings coming up uh, next week. So keep your eyes peeled. We did break below the 200 here and we retested and we broke lower again. So old support, uh, so old resistance becomes new support. So same thing here, guys. Um, if you are looking to take this thing long, I think you probably have a little bit more time to get in. And the last request we had was MU as well. And MU pretty much going sideways is going to be here for a little bit longer, guys. Uh, we are creating some new higher, high, uh, higher lows, which is good to see. Um, on the weekly chart, we currently have a cute little inside day bullish candle and we are just sitting at the 100 simple moving average right now. So if we do get a close below, uh, so I'll just go to the daily chart. If we do get a close below this, this bearish candle right here, which is going to coincide with the 100 simple, I'd probably expect us to come down to at least the 200, which is going to line up with these lows that we had back here. And then I'd expect, uh, I'd expect MU then to go long. Um, but right now, I think we're most likely just going to chop sideways for a little bit longer. We do have uh, decreasing volume. So I don't think we're just going to just shoot out the park here and just launch higher. So keep that in mind, guys, especially along with the overall markets not looking super bullish at the moment. Expect some very short-term pullbacks uh, to happen on um, a lot of these stocks. Let's take a look at the Aussie markets, the all odds, ticker symbol XAO. And right now, guys, I did say look to buy the dip off the 100. And here we are at the 100. So buy the dip hashtag buy the dip buy the salsa you guys know what to do um we are looking very very nice for a bounce here and i guess we just have to see how we transpire over the next couple of days looks good uh let's take a look at the bank cba and i have been mentioning this was a buy the dip opportunity um and i also mentioned that this is going to chop sideways for a little while so just look to sell high and buy low guys buy that meaning lock in profits in the highs or maybe even sell some premium covered calls, whatever it is you do, whatever your strategy is, um, just look to sell high and buy low. Um, CBA, not a lot happening, probably just going to keep ranging here for probably a couple of months or so, maybe till the end of the year and then we'll see what happens from then. BHP and we are at a buy low sell high location guys right here. I did mention 35 was the level to buy. Um, if you are in then well done. I probably expect us to just chop around here. Like I said for another six months. Um, just make sure you are locking in your gains. Just buy low sell high on this one guys BHP nothing to see here. Just keep printing money. APT now I did mention back here. Um, on this candle, we are going lower and most likely we'll go back to the 100, which is going to be the buy the dip location. And as you can see, 100 came in and people started buying. And I know the, the, I know the people who are buying here, it's definitely you guys that are listening to this review. Um, so well done to you guys. You guys are moving the markets. Um, very well done. Most likely, I do expect us probably to chop around here for a little bit. It's to, it is not going to just launch out of here. So make sure you are patient um, and mitigate your risk. If you did just tiptoe in here and you're looking to add to your position, if we do get another lower low, obviously the 200 is going to be another level to add to your position and uh, increase that size because APT will go higher. And let's take a look at zero, ticker symbol XRO. Beautiful gap down today, retest gap. And I did say uh, a while ago that we will most likely will consolidate sideways here for a while as we have had quite a bullish run up. We do have earnings coming up 
just around the corner at the start of November. So that will be very interesting to see how that plays out. If we do get a gap down, depending where we get a gap down to, I'd probably expect us to fade higher. Uh, we still are yet to fill this gap that we had Sorry, fill this gap that we had back in May. And um, yeah, so if we do get a gap down, I probably do expect us to trade down to the 200, close this gap, and then most likely chop around a little bit and then fade higher over the next few months. So keep your eyes peeled on a buy the dip opportunity on zero. Let's take a look at LTM, ticker symbol ALU, back at the 200 simple moving average, guys. I have said in the past, this is a very nice buying location. Um, if you are looking to buy, here is a nice level to start legging into some sort of position. Uh, now, I do expect this. Uh, we do have a uh, we do have a support here at thirty dollars. So, if we do break lower, guys, which is entirely possible, we we totally could break lower. Uh, just look to buy the dip, probably off this previous high. In this previous low, this previous low, we do have very nice volume supporting these particular trades. Um, and obviously, if we do close below here, then if we do get a strong close below here, sorry, I do expect us to fill this gap. And then obviously, I would look to buy the dip probably around 28. So ticket symbol ALU is gearing up for a nice long opportunity. Let's take a look at some commodities. Let's take a look at gold. Now, gold is just doing what we've been talking about for quite some time and that's absolutely nothing going sideways staying in this uh staying in this cute little triangle right now and if you are looking to play gold guys you really need to play it on the hourly chart i'll show you why you're not going to see a whole lot of action here on the daily you could potentially play it on the four hourly chart that's totally fine probably going to get more opportunities on the one um, but as you can see here, we are getting some lower highs and we are, we are at a very nice value area anywhere between, uh, sorry, anywhere between 83 and 80 or 1483 and 1480 is a nice level to go long right now. Um, obviously if we have a very strong close below 1480 guys, most likely we will trade a little bit lower. And that will be a very nice long-term opportunity if we do get back down to 1460. But um, if we do potentially break out of this uh, wedge that we have here, I do expect us to slowly but surely grind higher. On the daily chart, we are slowly coming back to the 100 simple. So bear in mind, that will be a very nice long-term opportunity there as well. Let's take a look at crude oil or US oil. Here, very nice bullish move yesterday. Very strong candle. Take a look at the four-hour chart on this one. You can very, uh, you can see very well that we are creating some very nice higher lows. So if we do uh, continue higher, I do expect us to stay with this trend and just look to slowly take this higher. Have always been fairly bullish on oil. A lot of cars still driving around, and a lot of people still needing oil. So crude oil. Just look to buy low, sell high. Right now, we are at a fairly decent high. So just look for a cute little pullback before you look to take this thing long. And last but not least, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Now, this is really, really interesting. I've been saying this for a while. If you are looking for a short position, the 100 simple is a very nice location to go short. So another one, guys. Shout outs to all you bunch. Uh, well done. I see what you guys are doing here. And once again, you guys are moving the market. You're absolutely amazing. Super fantastic. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, and I'll be back on Thursday with another free real life stock review. And until then, love life, live life and trade it. I'll see you all soon. Bye.